Salutations ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Chico Squared and in this video I am going to be looking at a uh, question from the Zimbabwe Schools Examinations Council June 2015 question paper in all level mathematics under the topic functional notation. So on the, on the board we are given that f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 7x plus 1. And we are required by item one of the question to evaluate f of minus one. Right. When they are saying f of minus one, what they are talking about is that on x here, we are going to substitute with minus one. Meaning to say, f of minus one is going to be equal to three multiplied by negative 1 squared minus 7 multiplied by negative 1 plus 1. So, minus 1 squared is going to be plus 1. 3 times plus 1, we get a 3. Then minus 7 multiplied by negative 1, we're going to get plus 7. Then plus 1, that side. So, 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. So, which means that f of minus 1 is going to be equal to 11. Right. Let's look at the next question now. Find the values of x for which f of x is equal to minus 1. This is f of x, which is 3x squared minus 7x plus 1. And the question says f of x is equivalent to minus 1. So this is equal to minus 1. Right? So, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation. So in order for us to solve a quadratic equation, what we need to do first and foremost is that we need to equate this quadratic equation to 0. So we are going to take negative 1 from the other side of the equal sign and then it jumps the equal sign and comes to the other side. So it's going to be 3x squared minus 7x plus 1. Then this crosses the equal sign, it becomes plus 1. And this is equated to what? To 0. So this is going to give us 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 being equal to 0. So here we are now. We need to solve this quadratic equation. So quadratic equations can be solved by factorization, the quadratic formula, uh, the quadratic graph, and also can be solved by completing the square. Right? We need the easiest method. So let's check to see whether this equation can be factorized. So you are going to multiply 2 by 3x squared. You get a 6x squared. And then we are going to look for two factors of 6x squared such that if we add, we get negative 7x and if we multiply, we get 6x squared. So, we have 6x and 1x, alright? So, if we say minus 6x minus 6x minus x we get minus 7x. And then if we multiply minus 6x multiplied by minus 1x, we get positive 6x squared. So these are the factors that we are looking for. So the next thing we're going to do is that we come back to this equation, 3x squared. Then on a minus 7x, we write minus 6x minus x, because this is equivalent to minus 7x. Then this is plus 2 being equated to 0. We factorize these two expressions, 3x, factor out 3x, 3x into that we get x, 3x into that we get minus 2, and then we close, okay? Then, the two factors for this one again, we're going to have minus 1. Minus 1 into minus x, we get x, minus 1 into minus 2, we get minus 2 being equal to 0. So whenever you are factorizing a quadratic expression, make sure that these values, you have a, a, a common bracket, which is similar here, right? The moment you are factorizing a quadratic expression and these two brackets are different, 
it means that you have made a mistake somewhere somehow so we now take these values 3x minus 1 make it a one bracket then x minus 2 make it one bracket being equated to 0 so we now have a situation whereby two numbers are multiplying to get zero so if two numbers are multiplying to get zero what it means is that one of the numbers is zero so it's either 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we solve these uh, equations separately. So for, from this one, 3x is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 3. You get x is equal to 1 over 3 or positive 2. So the two values of x where this function of x is equal to negative 1 are 1 over 3 or 2. So for the effort that you have put in this question, you are handsomely rewarded with 6 marks by the Zimbabwe Schools Examinations Council. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get notifications of our future videos. And we also urge you to give us feedback in the comment section. Give us feedback of where we need to improve and the topics that you wish for us to present on this channel. The crew behind the scenes at Farming Media Productions, big up Boss Kingston and the crew behind the scenes. Be blessed and stay blessed. This is your host, Chico Square. I salute you.